Hey guys, my name is Megan and this is my first tutorial I've ever done. I'm sorry if it's not that good, but I tried. And um, this is my fall mauve look that I honestly wear all the time. And I love it so much. It's really simple, really easy, and the products I use are super affordable and super attainable. You could get them at your drugstores, Ulta's, anything like that. Oops. And yeah. Alright, so this is the final look, and if you want to get this look, keep watching. Alright, so I'm starting with a fresh face, and I'm using Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth as my primer. And I'm mainly just going to put it in my T-zone and my cheeks, and basically places where I just get the most oily. For foundation, I'm using CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in 305. Um, I love this foundation so much. It's the best. It's a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable. And I'm just dotting this all around my face, um, mainly on my cheeks and like problem areas, which are my cheeks, and my chin. And here I'm just using a Real Techniques um, foundation brush, I'm pretty sure, and just blending it all out. Okay, and for me, I don't like to put um, my concealer on my actual face. I just use more of my foundation, especially because my concealer that I'm using right now is a lighter concealer, so I'm just using my foundation. And this is the concealer I use, LA Girl Pro Conceal, Creamy Beige, love it, hate the applicator. And I'm just putting my concealer in a triangular shape kind of underneath my eyes. And then I like to conceal um, under where I'm going to contour and my chin. Using my finger now, I'm just blending it out, and I don't want. To, I mean, I'm gonna use a brush, but I just like to use my finger first. But I mainly use a brush for the other places where I can feel besides, beside, besides. Okay, um, <laughs> under my eye. Okay, on to my brows, using a Sonia Kashuk um, spoolie type thing. I'm just combing through my brows really quick. And I use the Milani Brow Kit Medium Brown. It's like a powder. I used to use gel, but then I didn't like it. So when I start my brows, I start under my arch and I just draw a line straight down following my arch. And then I just kind of color it in. And I just keep drawing lines under my brow and then I just blend it up. And then for the top of my brow, I kind of do the same thing. I just draw a line kind of following my eyebrow. I mean, I have good enough hair on my eyebrow already. So I just kind of follow the shape and just keep coloring in where I see spots where there's no hair, just little hair. And yep, that's basically it. Using a spoolie again, I just comb through it to make sure it doesn't get too powdery or too dark. And for me, I like to conceal under my brows because I think it really carves out my brows and makes it the way I want it to look. So here I'm just using a flat concealer brush and starting under my arch first, I put some on the tip of the brush and just really carve out the bottom of my brow. Then use my finger to just blend everything in. And then on the top, I do the exact same thing and I just, I like to um, make my brows straight on the top and then drop down where the arch is. And yep. After I conceal um, under and on top of my brows, I like to go back with the Milani Brow Kit and fill in my brows again because sometimes the concealer gets on like in the hairs of my brow and makes it lighter and I like my brows to be really defined and um, dark and I like to square out the um, inner parts of my brow. Yeah girly, brows on fleek, what you thought? I'm just kidding, I need to 
like trim my brows. Anyways, using the concealer brush I used earlier, I just go out or go back, go out, go back and fix the concealer that I did earlier. And then to prime my eyes, I actually use a concealer, the Maybelline Master Conceal. And I just dab a little bit on my eye and then use my finger to blend it out. And going back to my face, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte stay matte powder in sandstorm and I just use a uh, real techniques powder brush all over my face even where I concealed even though I'm gonna brighten it up later but I just like to um, set my whole face okay so I just got this um, NYX highlight and contour pro palette kit thingy from Ulta and I'm super stoked about it so I'm gonna use the banana powder powder freak powder first under my eyes and this is just an elf brush um i forgot the name but i am just putting that under my eye where i concealed earlier then using the lighter shade beside the banana powder um putting that on top of that okay and now to the kind of scary part i'm taking the darker or darkest color in the palette and i'm gonna contour my cheeks using this elf contour brush and um yeah i just like to make a straight line well diagonal line actually from my kind of my temples or the top of my ear to the corner of my mouth and then i just blend it out using the rest that's on the brush on um to contour my nose just a little bit and then just blending it out, blend, blend, blend. Making sure that it's pretty symmetrical to the other side of my face, I'm doing the same thing on this side and just continue blending it, that's the key. This is a super affordable, um, alternative to a contour kit is just using a powder. This is L'Oreal True Match Powder in C8. It's just a cool tone brown and it works really well, super blendable. And I'm just using a Real Techniques um, contour brush, I'm pretty sure. And just putting it on top of what I use um, or where I put the NYX. You don't have to, but this is just showing you that you could use this as well. Going back to the NYX um, highlight and contour palette, I'm taking the white um, highlighting color and highlighting underneath where I contoured. It really chisels out where you put your um, dark contour and makes it really pop. Onto the eyes now, I'm taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and putting it all over my lid in a second. Okay, and here we are. Putting it all over my lid, it does not have to be clean because I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger anyways. Yeah, okay, with my finger, just blending it out. I'm using my finger a lot, but whatever. It works as good as a brush. So I know BH Cosmetics is not a drugstore brand and I'm pretty sure you can't even buy it at Ulta and it's mainly online. But I'm using the It's Judy Time palette. This was given as a gift, um, but I'm pretty sure BH Cosmetics has super affordable um, palettes that you could also find because I'm pretty sure this is out. Anyways, taking the white, I'm packing it on top of where I put that NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil with my finger and then taking a fluffy brush. This is Sonia Kashuk and taking the tan and the mauve color and placing that in my crease. This isn't really a cut crease look, like a super clean one, but it's very blended and feathered out, and I think it's more wearable than a super dramatic cut crease. Now using a smaller eyeshadow elf brush, I'm gonna take that dark chocolate brown color from the palette and put it underneath, or on my waterline, and drag it up to my outer V of my eye. Just kind of making like a moon shape and blending it out with my finger if it gets a little too harsh. Here I'm just going back with the white color from the palette and packing it back on top because I want it to be, um, or to stand out more than my crease color. And then I'm just blending it all in. Using a tiny Sonia Kashuk brush, um, I'm taking the super glittery gold color and putting it on my bottom or my waterline 
on the bottom, my bottom waterline. Okay. And then I'm going to take the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Liquid Gold. And I'm just going to use a tiny Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush and put it on top of where I put that gold earlier from the It's Judy Time palette. And then I'm going to take the fluffy brush that I used earlier and just blend everything together. Now I'm going to use Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner in Blackest Black. I love this liquid eyeliner. And, okay, sorry, I'm horrible at this. I didn't know how hard this was. But basically, how I do my eyeliner is I draw a straight line across my lid, just my lid, no flick. And then you'll see in a second that to do my wing, I start from the um, bottom corner of my lower lash line and draw up. And then I go from the tip of that and connect it to the top line that I made earlier, if that makes sense. And then I just color it all in and make sure it's pretty opaque. I decay about you, but I like my wing eyeliner to look super sharp. So I'm just going to use that concealer brush I used earlier and I just concealed under it, just kind of carving it out like I did with my brows. Then here I'm just lengthening my wing. You could do it as long and short as you want. I like mine pretty long because I think it accentuates my eyes, but everyone's different. My mascara is probably my favorite part of my makeup routine because I think it really just brings everything together. And these two are my holy grail. They're the L'Oreal um, Telescopic Mascaras. One is lengthening and one I think is just volumizing. I usually don't use two, but I just had to, so I use both of them. Um, I prefer the black one though, which I think is the volumizing. And I just coat my lashes. I don't know, you could do as many coats as you want. I think I do actually a lot of coats. And I just start from the root of my lashes and just go up wiggling and I do that to my bottom lashes. I don't really have thick bottom lashes, but this mascara definitely helps. This is a pretty popular product, I would say. Popular product? Um, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I just use it on an e.l.f. blush brush, and I just put it on the high points of my face, my cheeks, my temples. Pretty sure I do it down the bridge of my nose just a little bit and it's kind of like a highlight too. And then going back to my NYX palette, I'm going to use the more um, golden highlighter that's in it and I'm going to use an elf brush and just put it on top of that blush. And then taking the more silvery white um, highlighter, I'm going to do a C shape around my eyes to really make those parts pop like the top of my cheekbones and my temples. And then using a Sonia Kashuk angled face brush, I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. I don't know why I look so distressed. Onto the fun part. To prep my lips before I put anything on it, I just wipe it down with a paper towel. And then I have these three NYX lip liners. Yes, I used three lip liners at once. I just love the colors. And yes, I overdraw my lips. Um, I just like to round out my Cupid's bow. I like to make my lips look bigger, and I use mauve first because it's kind of almost a skin tone color. It kind of looks really dark, but it's actually not that dark. And then I color it in, and then when I move on to my next color, I use brown. And sorry you can't see, but basically I'm lining where I put the mauve and just coloring it in. You'll, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, um, gross. And that's how the lips look with just a lip liner. You could honestly leave it like that, but I like to be dramatic. And put Maybelline Matte Lipstick Nude Nuance on top. This is my holy grail matte lipstick. It is super creamy and does not dry out your lips whatsoever. And I just put a layer and then I go back with um, the NYX lip liner in Espresso and make it darker on the edges just to make my lips really pop. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, subscribe, anything. And just let me know how I did. Thank you guys. Bye.